we had a look in the sequencer section at automating and what it is and, and how it works in Reason. And automation is basically the process of recording the movements of a controller. Um, and then Reason will replay those movements every time it passes over the automation data. And basically anything, nearly anything in Reason can be automated. And it's a really clever way to, uh, to add a, a lot of interest to your mixes and to make things happen automatically without you having to physically replicate movements. We had a bit of a look at how to edit automation data before, but let's, uh, let's have a look at automating an effect and how that might, uh, might help you in your music. So if I set up a loop here, I've got a, a drum beat on the go. Doesn't have any effects on it at the moment. So if I just add something that's going to be obvious, let's say a reverb unit. So I'm now at a reverb unit. And if you think about how you would use automated effects, one fairly obvious way is to uh, vary the amount of effect that's applied. So if I alt click on this dry wet command on the reverb unit, the, uh, the sequencer track gains a little lane here just for the reverb unit. Now, if I record, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is gradually increase that reverb level and then drop it back down. And if I zoom in, there's my automated effect level. And uh, I just cut an extraneous point there. These points snap to whatever your snap settings are, by the way. So it's set to snap to bar. So that's what they're doing. If I play that back, you'll see the dry wet control move it by itself. You could try something a bit more interesting here, for example. We could, uh, we've applied a pulverizer to the same beat, so we could try uh, automating its squash level. And dirt. And the filter type. If you record in a loop, you have to uh, just watch out for flipping over and resetting values like that. But what we've got there is uh, three parameters automated. And so immediately that sounds a bit more exciting. Let's say, uh, actually, if I wanted to get rid of that dirt automation by just pressing backspace, could, uh, here's an, a neat little trick, try this. So that's just dialing in some new settings as you go along. You can automate more or less anything on any effect, and uh, that's a good way to, to make things sound more interesting and uh, more exciting. Uh, rather than just having an effect on or off, you can modulate and modify all their settings over time. Let's have a look next at. Uh, the mixer and how channel strips work in the mixer. <laughs> 